For 3PLs just starting out or trying to figure out their next move in EDI, the landscape can seem a little daunting. Hi, it's Kristen from Babbleway. In a moment, I'm going to walk you through the most commonly used EDI documents or transaction set with third-party logistics. Hang tight. If you're looking to win a contract to warehouse the inventory of a large volume supplier or seller, you'll probably be asked to do EDI. For 3PLs, the first EDI transaction sets you'll want to have up and running are the 940 shipping order and 945 shipping advice. The 940 from a supplier lets a 3PL know what product to pull and when and where it must be delivered. Once the delivery has been made, a 3PL sends a 945 back to the supplier as confirmation that the goods made it to their destination. Another transaction set you could actually be required to exchange with a supplier, even from the outset, is a 947 inventory adjustment advice. Having enough inventory on hand to meet purchase demand is always important. The 947 is a transaction set a 3PL uses to communicate changes in inventory to a supplier, so shipping delays due to back orders can be avoided. Suppliers generally determine how how often they should receive inventory adjustment advice, and what events should trigger sending it. This next transaction set will help you add value to customers and partners. If it's not already being transmitted by the supplier or seller to the buyer, 3PLs should add an 856 advanced ship notice to their list of EDI services. The advanced ship notice, or ASN, gives the buyer a heads up as to when goods are about to be dispatched from the warehouse, along with codes to track delivery. So now that you know a little bit more about the EDI documents used in third-party logistics, what will your next EDI project be? As always, if you need help getting started, we're just a click away. Check us out at babbleway.com. See you next time!